if you wanted to create an online course, does it matter uh, the which platform you choose? Nah, not really. There's pros and cons of every platform. Um, if you're doing it yourself, whatever you find the easiest to use. If you're doing it with somebody else, then whatever they find easiest to use. Everything has its pros and cons. ClickFunnels has its pros and cons. Kajabi has its pros and cons. Everything has its pros and cons. Yeah, and and but Kajabi they, has more, far more pros than cons. Why, oh my lord! <laughs> Just don't. Far yeah. more. If if Brendan wasn't an investor in Kajabi, then I would, I would. I would have, have, a different, have answer. different opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, not, not even out of experience, just because of Zan. Because <laughs> he's a co owner. Yeah, Red is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, so. Oh, you say, hold on, wait. You say you would have a different opinion if it wasn't for Brennan just to go against me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, just because of how like married you are to things that don't matter, right? Like, well, it matters a lot. No, it no, matters. no, no. That's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter. That, Ali, that's why. Yeah, there's there's certain other platforms they would take more from you, and you have to put more. You have to integrate more stuff, which that means more stuff can go wrong. Kajabi is a one at all, all in one. Everything is right there. Zan doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to technology. Zan, Zan just wants his pen. Zan exactly like Zan's reasons for doing things often oh are oh not um, smart. Good. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. He's got, he's got his own personal reasons for doing things that matter to him, but they're actually not, they don't transfer over, let's say that, to okay. other people right. very well. Okay, okay, all right. I'll take so, that. I, so so, so I, I, I've got a thing uh, about platforms. Uh, okay, talk to us, See, Drew, you, would listen, Drew, you should listen to. So okay, okay, I'm going to hear at the end of At the end of the day, when picking any platform, um the price that you pay is going to boil down to the level of sophistication that that tool has. So like, for instance, like if you're the kind of person who understands how to set up WordPress and, and want to go with a cheaper route than something like ClickFunnels or Kajabi, uh, and you have the time to learn it, Learn Dash is a great option. However, most people, when they're like setting up, you know, uh, courses and that kind of stuff. They don't necessarily have a whole bunch of the techie know-how, and as a function of it, are should be wi willing to pay a higher price for the tool that they use because it's going to be much simpler to set up. Does that make sense? So I at the start is like, are you doing this yourself, or are you going to work with somebody to do this? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like this is this is the. Uh, Canva versus Photoshop kind of discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Like Canva mm -hmm. is the do-it-yourself tool that allows you to get it up and do stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not very powerful though. Photoshop is what any, no professional that you're gonna work with uses Canva. They're gonna use Photoshop because it's just way more powerful. It's mm -hmm. gonna serve, the, serve the, the goals much better. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, so, so let, let's, let's, no, I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Okay, okay. So, so I like, like, are you going to do it yourself or are you going to have somebody? Because if you're going to do it with somebody, then all you should care about is finding the trusted person and then let them pick the platform and how it's going to roll out. Yeah. Right? Like in setting up Zane's website that we did over the weekend, it's like, hey, use a template. Oh, Kajabi doesn't do templates. What do you mean Kajabi doesn't do templates? But so we're, do we're spending template. back, going back and forth, doing all this manual garbage to make this thing work because... They do have templates though. But it didn't work. Well, well, it's just the, the, the sizing on the templates are not exactly favorable. So why why did we stick to Kajabi? Mostly because Drew knows how to use it. It was already set up, and so that's what we're doing Kajabi. I don't care if Zane wants his pin for selling X, Y, Z. Like that is not an acceptable reason. <laughs> no. <laughs> So he says, thank you for the answer about online course platforms. It makes sense. I am not doing WordPress. I prefer to work on the content. Cool. So it sounds like you're probably going to be willing to spend a little bit more money on the platform itself rather than. Yeah. Unless again, I, again I, I know. I, look, you, you got to look at all the other plugins you got to use on the other platforms, which is it's going to cost more money anyways. And then the functionality 
is always going to change because things get updated all the time. Instead of one place where everything is totally functional and then you have no idea. This is not what you're good at. Right, right. You you're promoting something. You have no idea that if it's better or worse than the other stuff. Who but should use Kajabi versus ClickFunnels? Who? They all they all do the same thing. Period. It's just you know, I don't know who's just, better than Kajabi and ClickFunnels out there. Teachable is like, come on. I mean, Teachable I mean, is like, come on. What do you mean? I, I I know I know people who have million dollar courses on Teachable. I know, but so, so okay. they all work. They all do what they need to do. Yeah, the, the nuance is really is about finding the person who's going to help you do it, or which one do you find is just the best tool for you? Because everybody's going to have their opinion, and most of it's going to be uh, clouded in something. Yep. Like Zane's opinion is clouded. <laughs> For sure, dude. It's dude. The, my it's it's it's, it's, it's man. I, I'm, it's, I'm telling you, it's it's. Mm. Okay, this isn't what, easy. This is a layup, but it's, it's a layup. Okay, this okay, is not okay, what okay, you're okay, great okay, at. Okay. It's fine. Okay, hold on. Well, okay, hold on. I'll check this out. Here, here, here's the pitch. Here's the, here's the here's the close. Ale, look, check it out. Brendan Bouchard. If it's good enough for him, hello, done. Hello. If he uses it, he's one of the best out there, hands down. Okay, okay, but, like it, but if it's good enough for Russell, then then why not? Yeah, why, not Brendan, why not? Brendan Bouchard. Russell's not Brendan Bouchard. Russell's you, good, but he's not Brendan mean? Bouchard. And Russell has a bias because it's his stuff. Click oh, belongs to Russell. Okay, so how is Brendan's and Kajabi not bias? That's what I said. They're the, be- I, I said they're the best two out there. They're the best two. Okay. Everybody else, you know. Okay, this uh, this conversation is clearly not. Well, Brendan owns Kajabi. I'm I'm not diving in because I know both these people. Yeah, and I'd like to still call them friends by the end of this. But <laughs> the 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 answer is listen. Zane is not your point of of influence for this because he doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to this, and that's fine. You want Zane's a genius and an expert at many many things, but technology stack. Is not what you go. It's not even what you go to me for. I would listen to Drew. And Drew says Kajabi. Oh, uh-huh. Drew did Since not say when? Kajabi. When did I say Kajabi? I did not. I didn't. I did not. Or click funnels. <laughs> so, a- at least in my experience of using both platforms, from a simplicity standpoint. Uh oh. Click funnels is easier to set up your pages, get the design right, and that kind of thing. Now, I haven't I haven't gone through the extensiveness of of setting up a, do, a, a domain specifically on Kajabi and and all of the back end stuff that's required. Payment that. processing and all the whole. Nine based yards. on at least based on yeah, it's, it, it's not that hard. Based, yeah, based on what I've seen, they're about the same. Yeah. Listen, I went so also Atlanta. Think about who do you know who can help? Like if you're stuck. Who's going to help you? Are you completely on your... Like, if you're going to do this yourself, right? If you're doing it with somebody else, we're just listening to them and we're taking their advice. If you're going to do it by yourself, is there anybody you, you know who can help you if you get stuck? And that, that's where I would go, right? Okay, so like, I, I went on ClickFunnels before I knew Brendan. And so I knew Russell. So like, you know what? If I ever really get stuck, I know Russell. So oh. I can ask him for help. <laughs> Yeah, but, but everybody's not Evan Carmichael either. So no, no, no. So, that's not the point. If you know Alan, if you know anybody who knows anything about either of the platforms, so at least to have some kind of contact point. Okay, right? so then that means do they have a, a great customer service or help? No, no, no. Help somebody that you actually tutorials? know. No, no. Somebody yeah. that you know. Like yeah. you went to Drew to ask for help. If Drew, like if you're just getting started and you know a Drew, you know someone like Drew. I mean, Drew's Drew unique perfect. and special, but. You know someone who's like a, a a 35% Drew, who's just got the the DQ instead of the full on Drew Q, but he's got something. He's not you know you may not hire him to do it. He may not be a partner in your business, but at least there's somebody you could talk to. That person that person's help will be so much more valuable for you in picking the platform because for the most part, selling a basic course, they all do they all do there's intricacies, but they all do the same thing. I can introduce you to Drew. Drew doesn't need more funnel work. 
I know I'm just saying. Of course, building. <laughs> You I'm, need to stop doing yours. <laughs> I, I know. I just have to introduce him. That's all I said. <laughs> I didn't say what Drew would, what Drew would do. I just have to introduce him. <laughs> but what's the implication behind that? Um, no, just you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just said. I didn't even think. I didn't. I didn't even think that far down. I'm just. I'm just trying to add a joke in there. That's all. Yeah. So that um, that's that's what I would do. That's why yeah. I picked. Click funnels. Yeah. And then the first thing I did when I was trying to figure it out, and then I was on my tour. So this is a true story. I was on my tour in the U.S. and I started Click Funnels. I realized, holy cow, this is, this is a lot. Like I don't know how to do a lot of this stuff, but I'm, I like getting like I, I used to know how to program. But you're tech savvy though. You can figure it out easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like ish. I just didn't. I want to up my. I want. I'd rather use. I want to like work with somebody on it. That's not the thing that I really have a uh, desire to be great at, right? It's not. So when I was on my tour, uh, I was in San Jose when I became obsessed with ClickFunnels. And so I started sharing. I went to my stories. If anybody knows anything about ClickFunnels, let me know. Like if, you're, if you follow me, I'm trying to set up my ClickFunnels and I'm struggling with this. If you know, let me know. And... Um, there's a guy named Marion who, who messaged me back. He's like, hey, I'm a ClickFunnels expert. I've sold seven figures on it. Like, awesome. Wow. Um, He's in a two comma club? Yeah, he's like, I'd love to help. Okay, great. Oh hey, Marion, what are you doing right now? Wow. And we hopped That's on a so call cool. right there. We hopped on a call. And, and listen, Marion became an awesome part of my community. He joined, he was in Thought Leadership Academy at the last one we did. Um, he helped me set up a lot of my stuff. Uh, it became a real friendship. Thanks to that one conversation. Then the next day I went, I did my event in, in San Jose and a guy comes up and he's, uh, he's the videographer for somebody that I knew. So this guy named Adam, who's a police officer was coming and, but he's also a thought leader and he brought a videographer along. The videographer has a ClickFunnels t-shirt on. And as soon as they walk in, it's like, why are you wearing that t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care about Adam. I cared about the videographer. Why are you wearing that T-shirt? <laughs> and he said, "Well, I used to do ClickFunnels support for five years. I was a guy. If you had problems that you called in the ClickFunnels, I was a guy who helped you. Right? It's like uh, so. I said, Adam, how do I get this guy's time tomorrow? <laughs> how do I get, how do I sit down with this guy? What do I need to What do I need to give you so that he sits down with me and we have a conversation? I mean, that's smart." And, and then for the next two days, the la I was only in San Jose for four days. The next two days I met with him and he showed me how to build the funnel and the mistakes I was making and so, some of the basic stuff, but I just couldn't, it would have taken me a longer time to figure it out or watch tutorials versus having somebody right in front of you just walking you Shortcut, through it. Shocked up the process. Yeah. So that's the point. Like if you can get people like that and listen, I didn't know them. I was looking out for them. Now it became, if that guy came to the, to my events in Cleveland or, or actually Cleveland was later, but uh, earlier on in my tour, I wouldn't have cared that he had a ClickFunnels t-shirt on because I wasn't in the ClickFunnels world yet. So it didn't matter to me. So you're looking for people who can help, whether they can do the whole thing for you or just somebody who you can lean on if you have questions or problems so that you're not stuck doing all yourself. That's the best platform. It, it does get, you know, if you don't have a techie techie mind, it does get frustrating trying to figure it all out. A, a worse platform with the right people is better than the right platform with the wrong people. Right. What say you, Drew? Anything you want to add? Uh, no, I think sounds about right. Okay. Um, yeah, obviously, in, 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 this, uh, in, in this, I sit in a different position. <laughs> yeah, Drew's the tech guy who gets everything. <laughs> oh yeah, Look, guys, everybody. I think you guys already know. If it wasn't for Drew, um, I, my stuff wouldn't be up right now. It'd still be there, it just wouldn't be up right now. It would just take. I mean, I would eventually get it done. It would just take longer. But Drew just get in there, you know. He just figures stuff out. Granted, I also worked for Apple for a period of time, so and, he, and he's very fast. I try to follow him so I can learn from him. He's very, very fast. But Too don't fat. make it your goal. You got enough stuff to do. Don't make it your goal to learn how he does it. 